Okay, got that. Well, good to see everybody again. And um, let's just get our bodies organized so that we um, have our feet flat either on the floor or on our foot plate. And um, thinking about our, our knees, our hips, our ribs, shoulders are all lined, uh, lined up as best as possible. So we're not shifted one way or the other. And um, let's just kind of take a couple nice, big, deep breaths kind of settle, allow the pelvis to settle into your seat and allow your feet to become heavy and connect into your foot plate or the floor just to feel grounded. Hmm. And um, let's just do a couple little shoulder shrugs just to kind of get us into our body. <clears throat> so we'll inhale, shrug up and then exhale, let them just soften down. Hmm. And just feel the movement of the blade, feel how good it feels to let them go and straight up and then allow them to drop down. And nice. And then we'll just come, um, kind of do come back to the pelvis and let's do a little rocking forward and back just to feel that um, weight shift forward. So towards the front edge of your sit bones as we come forward. And then you can exhale as you come back and maybe pull the belly button to spine a little bit and feel if you're able yourself settle onto your sit bones, the back edge of your sit bones. So we're gonna inhale forward, leaning forward, exhale back. And as we lean forward and back, just notice your weight shift. Maybe notice where you tend to live in your body. If you tend to be more forward or if you tend to kind of hang back in your chair. And as we move, I still would like you to think about your alignment. So hips, ribs, shoulders, even ears all lined up. and think tall. So as we lean forward to the front edge, lengthen through the top of the head. And as we come back, still lengthening through the top of the head. Now let's do a little side to side shift, weight shift. So just, you can think if you're able to, you can hike your hip and pull that left sit bone up off of the chair and then back to center and hike your hip on the other side and then back to center. Or it might just be a, a unweighting and leaning um, and back to center. And let's do that a few times because this is kind of a nice, um, sometimes we have to catch ourselves um, if we go off balance or if something kind of sends us, we wanna be able to feel where center is. And exhale back to center. Let's do, let's do one more to each side. Center, good. And center. Now let's do it with our hands at our side. So I had my hands up here on my lap kind of supporting me. So now you're gonna just reach and then pull belly button to spine to come back to center. So you might not go as far. Reach, but just feeling still the unweighting and how you can pull yourself back up to center. And experiment maybe with how far to the side you can go. You know, maybe get to that place where you start to fall and then you catch yourself and you bring yourself back. And you go to the side, you start to fall and you catch yourself and you, so then you kind of know where you're, begin to know where your limits are. And um, push those limits perhaps a little bit and let's do one more to each side. Awesome. So feeling your center again, actually I'm going to give a little 
different view. And um, let's just do some little head nods. So nodding the head, yes. So like we're um, reaching the top of the head, the crown of the head, as we lengthen the back of the neck, chin kind of dropping a little in towards the chest and then opening the throat. So moving up and down and maybe kind of even feel, feel um, this rotation point or this axle almost as if it's kind of right about at the ears or maybe it's at the, the mandible, but just kind of see if you can feel an axis point from side to side as you do your little head nod. And then we're gonna keep nice and long on that long head to tail axis and turn and look way to the left. And then back to center and turn and look way to the right. And back to center. Let's turn again, look way to the left. This time, <clears throat> using the eyes more, eyeballs straining to look as far as they can over that left shoulder. And then eyes coming forward, but head stays turned. And then eyes go back even further, looking over that left shoulder. And then eyes come forward to bring the head forward. Just a few little eye orientation things. So now it's turning a look towards the right and really working those eyes to look as far behind you as you can over that shoulder. And then keep your head, but move your eyes forward and then move your eyes towards the left again. Maybe you'll get a little more turn in the head and neck and then bring eyes forward and head forward. Awesome, awesome. Let's do a little ear to shoulder. So left ear to left shoulder. And up and always just finding this nice long tall position, right? And then right ear to right shoulder. What are we eating? That's on doing and this. sitting tall, left ear to left shoulder. And trying to keep the kind of the torso still, try not to let it go. And so we really just are in the cervical spine with this. We can add, if you want a little more stretch, you can add that hand around the ear here, um, the opposite here. And so still the weight of the arm just brings your ear to shoulder. And then we can actually kind of rearrange the hand a little bit and look up into the upper corner of the room behind us. So we get more of the front part of the neck muscles. And then let's look more kind of towards the armpit. Like you're gonna try and look down to the armpit so you can kind of readjust your hand on your head if you want. And just play with that, that position so you feel a little bit more of a stretch in the back of the neck on that side. And then release that. Those always feel really good. Okay, let's do that on the other side with the, with the arm if you're able. If you can't use the arm, then don't use it, just go ear to shoulder, okay? So if you're able to use the arm, you're gonna do this, otherwise you're gonna do ear to shoulder. So Ron Lynn, I would suggest you not use that arm since you're not able to really function with it that well and just go ear to shoulder, yeah. And then you can look up and behind you without having the arm there. Get a little more stretch in this part of the neck. And then let's look down into the back hip pocket, the uh, front breast pocket, I should say, or underneath the armpit. Nice. Awesome. So you guys, do you guys feel some stretches kind of in more towards the back of the neck and the front of the neck with those two variations? I hope you do. Okay, so we'll go ahead and let's just do some big shoulder circles. So up, back and down. So straight up, back and down. And we're gonna stay nice and wide across the chest. Kind of 
kind of getting wider and wider as you squeeze those shoulder blades back and down, back and down. Let's do one at a time. So we're going to rotate one up and around and back and down, up and around and back and down. Like you're kind of doing the like sultry sh shoulder, sultry shoulders. Say that five times fast. And kind of rolling one at a time. Maybe you find a little bit more range of motion when you're able to, to do one at a time. And then good. Let's bring the hands on top of your shoulder. And so kind of just add adds on to that shoulder circles. So we're gonna to pull together and then squeeze apart. We can inhale, feel the shoulder blades really pull apart and then exhale, squeeze them together. Nice, feeling the opposite, kind of the opposition of those blades. Now we're gonna turn these into circles. So bring straight up to the sky if you can, and you can lift your heart, get a little extension in your thoracic spine if you want, and squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, nice and wide, big circles. Make them as, take up as much space as you can with that elbow circle. Do one more and we'll go the other way. So then you're gonna come wide, reach those elbows wide, reach them wide and then reach them up and then reach them forward and then down and back. And maybe even kind of think about over exaggerating the movement for yourself and see how that feels. You guys look beauteous. Do one more. Awesome. Okay, feel those shoulders a little kind of alive and know where they are on your back. Realize, oh, they can move around. Um, let's just do some big swings here today. Just let them go now. So let those arms kind of, if you can lift them up um, to the highest level and then gravity takes them down, gravity. If you can bring them up to like your eye level, nice, there you go. And they're just gonna swing. And then we can go in opposition. Like we're cross country skiing. But you guys don't do a whole lot of that. But I just went cross-country skiing this weekend. <laughs> yeah, got to have that motion. All right. So um, let's go ahead now and just inhale, roll those shoulders so that the palms are up. So roll those shoulders up, back and down, and palms are facing up towards the ceiling. And we'll inhale up to a V. And exhale, press down. And remember, we're gonna be, we're gonna pretend we're super excited about this movement. So try and give it some enthusiasm. So, and get all the air out as you exhale. Let's pulse our breath now for two. So we're gonna inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. And really work the lungs and the ribs and the um, with the breath as you do this, okay? So really feel the rib cage expand and the exhale, rib cage closes. So the lungs are getting a little bigger and you're getting all the air out. Let's do three. So divide that movement into thirds and your breath into thirds. So in, two, three, and out, two, three. So.
and hug your chair when you come down. Up, two, three, down, two, three. So a little quicker. Excellent. Feel a little bit more alive. Okay, let's now bring the right arm up and the left arm is reaching down. So reach through those elbows, reach through those fingertips and feel as if you're in between two panes of glass. Stretching longer, longer, longer through the fingertips and then we'll reach the other way. So reach through those elbows fingertips and even reach through the, the axial skeleton here from head to tail, reaching two, three, and we'll switch. We'll just do one more to each side. So reach two, three, and then we'll switch and reach, finding your length, find all that length you possibly can. Nice. Now let's reach that right arm up and go into a little side bend here. So think tall, really imagine someone's pulling up out the crown of your head and side bending your spine. And you can lean into that left elbow, but make sure that you're not collapsing in the shoulder. So push down into the elbow, good. And breathe into this right side body, way up into the armpit, wherever you might feel tight. I want you to inhale, and see if you can bring some, some breath and attention into those areas that you, you don't notice, that you don't feel as much. And then we'll bring it back. And I think we all have areas that are kind of like zones in our body that we just don't have a lot of awareness around. Maybe it's really tight and underused. Okay, we're gonna same thing on this side. So reach and breathe into those, those emptier areas. For me, I kind of point here, for me, it's kind of in here a lot of times, I feel really bound up in there. So you guys can maybe take that into consideration. Let's do that one more time to each side. So we're gonna go up and over. Good, take a, three breaths here. and bring it back. And hopefully you kind of get a little more expansion and length in that whole side body. Three breaths here. And then bringing it back. Awesome. So let's go ahead and do a little side bend with some arm movement here. So reach. Good, and then we're gonna glide the, um, the thumb as if we're gonna slice the body in half front to back. And then imagine we're gonna push through water with that hand. Inhale up, good, exhale, slide and slice through the body. Inhaling up, reaching through that hand a little bit more each time. Right here, you can really think of elbow reaching up towards the sky. Last one, and then we're going to reverse the motion. Actually, why don't we go ahead and come up and we'll, um, we'll go over to the other side and then we'll reverse the motion on each side. We'll kind of mix it up like that today. So let's bring it over. Good, and reach, and then glide down and press through. Inhaling up. Taking, taking up as much space as you can in the room, as you move the hand, as, the, as you move the arm, you reach it out and up and over and pressing down to the ground as far as you can. One more. And we're gonna bring you up to sitting tall. Okay, we'll go over to the other side and now we're gonna reverse the motion. See if you can remember. Okay, so we're gonna sweep it down and then we're gonna glide up with, let the hand kind of trace and slice your body in half that way. Reach and glide 
through the water and pulling up reach and glide through and pull up reach a little more each time and nice imagine you're moving through that water because you get that that feeling of resistance and coming up so we can go to the other side so we'll side bend again over good and we're going to bring it down through the water and glide up the body reach pull yourself through that water and pull yourself through that water you guys look lovely mermaids and mermen <laughs> and reach let's do one more here and nice and we'll come up to sitting now let's do a little um a little kind of a spiral almost so we're going to come up we're going to um rotate and we're going to reach okay and then we're going to derotate and then we're going to come down now does that make sense to you guys um can you see that okay can you see how that's different than just a forward reach so we'll bring it up then we rotate the rib cage and then you're going to reach kind of at this diagonal good and then up derotate and over perfect yeah so up rotate the ribs and so i'm using i'm giving myself assistance by pushing with my opposite hand a little bit and over and back to square and down and inhale up and so as you rotate and reach you can pull belly button to spine hollow out that belly and it kind of um, affects your obliques a little bit more when we get that little um rotation in there so belly button to spine hollow out that belly reaching and up and back to center sorry and over again and rotate and reach good and up and we're going to do this one more time now but we're going to just add a little deeper exhale so we're going to exhale for three counts so we're going to inhale up exhale around and then exhale and bring you up and around and center so as you finish that that exhale you want to squeeze all the air out so inhale up and exhale and back to center and so you should just feel a little deeper into the core um, and into your obliques there all right let's go ahead now bring the arms so that as if we're holding on to a tray here elbows are at a right angle chest is lifted shoulders are back head of the arm bone is pulled back and we're just going to open the door and then bring it back in so open rotating the arms good externally rotating you can think about squeezing those shoulder blades chest stays lifted and then keep those shoulder blade muscles active as you bring the arms back one more this way good and then let's palms together as if maybe you were holding a, a yoga block and then you're gonna press away from the yoga block squeeze again those shoulder blades together uh, open and open and open one more time like you're pressing against resistance moving in water okay let's flip the palms down and same thing and open good and open nice you guys look good and open and we'll do two more and open. And good. Now, who has therabands? Does it does do most of you have a theraband today? 
And if you don't, it's okay. Why don't you give me a thumbs up if you have one? Okay, so a few of you don't have one. Um, so if you don't have if you don't have one, you're gonna do this, right? If you do have one, you're gonna use your band. So we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together and thumbs hitchhike out. So it's like your palms are up, but we're just having, since we're holding onto the band, fold our hands and we're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades. So let's open that chest and external rotators. Good, open. And we're gonna do 10 more. I'm just gonna kind of watch you guys because I wanna see who all has a band. So it looks like one, two, majority of you do, yeah. So let's squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And one more squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, five, and release. <clears throat> awesome. So let's do one more thing with the band here. Um, and if you don't have a band, I'll show you what you can do. But we're going to pull the band up here and just open the chest. OK, so you're going to squeeze. And if you don't have a band, let's just have our arms out straight out in front and you're just going to open and then control back and open and control back so let's do eight more squeeze let's try and go straight arms and open that chest wide and wide and wide and wide let's do two more two and one. Awesome. Okay. Shake those arms out a little bit. And um, go good. And then we're going to just float the arms up. And little circles. Let's start with the palms facing. Um, I'm just going to center that so you can see how my palms are. So palms facing. So we're going to circle two, three. And as you do your circles, you want to keep those shoulders back. You want to kind of feel like you've suctioned the head of the arm bone into the shoulder joint. Let's reverse the direction. Three, four, five, six, seven. And now let's do palms up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other way, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nice. Good job. Okay, we'll go ahead and um, let's bring one arm. So let's bring the left arm up into our um, kind of a goalpost position. So 90-90 if you can, squeeze that shoulder blade. And then we're gonna look at that hand, press across the body and rotate as much as you can and then bringing it back. So we're gonna press and bring it back and press and bring it back. So eyes follow the hand, keep your eyes on that hand. And I'm gonna watch you guys cause I wanna see. All right, make sure your eyes are following your hand because that adds a whole different dimension to it. Let's do two more, reach, good, press, and then same hand, we're gonna reach up high. Reach up high into the upper corner of the room now. Reach like you're gonna grab an apple. Reach. Reach. Eyes on that hand. Let's do three, two, and one. And over to the other side. Okay. Whew, I'm getting warm. My house is really warm today. Okay. So eyes on the hand. Eyes follow the hand across the body. Kind of straight across the body. 
squeeze that shoulder blade as you bring it back in. Then two more, one and two. And now we're gonna go into that upper corner of the room, reach and pull back and down. Reaching up, really reach for that apple, that beautiful apple. It's high up on the branch. Let's do five more. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and bring um, bring both arms back into our holding a tray position. Okay, and we're going to offer that tray with just one hand to start with. We're gonna inhale forward and exhale, shoulder blade on the back and then the other arm. So the arm that is not moving, make sure you keep that really stable. Okay, really anchored on the back. So we'll inhale and exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, exhale, slide it back in. And you can do it with just one hand and with the other hand, maybe don't even do it, Ron Lynn, but imagine it doing the movement and see how that goes for you today. So yeah, just reach, good. And then imagine what it feels like to reach. Now let's try both if you are able. So we're gonna reach and then pull back. So serving up the pizza pie, <laughs> good. Good, two more, keeping that chest lifted. You guys look better. It's like that posture is getting more upright. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's go ahead now and reach the hands out to the side at about a, a 45 degree angle away from the body. Nice. We're just gonna inhale up and then exhale, pull down like we're doing a full body breaststroke. So inhale up and exhale, press the water away here. Pull those shoulder blades back and down and together. Nice, now let's um, go ahead, bring that hand straight out at that 45 again, and we'll do some hand work. So finger, pinky finger is going to reach into the, the um, palm, press down, and then drag it out. So you extend those hands again. And then ring finger is going to reach as far as it can and press down drag and reach, extend those fingers. And then the middle finger, reach, press, drag. And now the index finger, reach, press and drag. And our thumb, reach across and drag it across. Okay, again, pinky. So we'll go a little faster, right? And ring. And the middle and index and thumb. One more little set, pinky. Keeping the shoulders back and down. And then lastly, the thumb. Nice, and then come on back into center and you can just do some wrist circles here. Yeah, and go the other way. Cool, cool. And then let's do some fun little um, uh, 
as if we have a ball kind of in the ball of our hand here. So you're gonna wrap an your fingers around this imaginary ball and lengthen the pinky finger and the thumb towards each other around this imaginary ball and press and really try and hollow in this area so it actually stretches through here. So hollowing and then release and open that away from the ball. And then your pink, your uh, ring finger is gonna do the same thing. You're going to wrap and again, feel that imaginary ball. And I actually do kind of like to create that feeling in there for myself. And then you're gonna release. And then the middle finger is going to reach towards the thumb around that ball and release fine motor skills. Really thinking, really willing those fingers to lengthen around the ball and then open. And let's go over to the other hand and see how that goes. So we're gonna reach the pinky towards the thumb around the imaginary ball, press and open. And you're gonna reach the ring Great, and if you cannot do it, you can use your other hand to assist the motion. I strongly encourage that. Good job. That looks awesome. And reach. It's kind of amazing how, I think it's amazing how difficult this is for myself anyways. I don't know about everyone else. Okay, let's do one more to each side. I just kind of wanted to give the hand. So pinky. It's gonna reach now. And you can do both at the same time too. And open and then reach, connect and open. I think we're on the middle, reach, connect, open and index and open. And we better do one more just in case people were doing one hand at a time. Okay, so pinky one more time, reach around that ball, press and open and reach around, hollowing in that palm and open and middle and open and index and open. All right, shake those hands out. You can kind of flick the fingers if you want. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and just do some fun little, um, I call them octopus arms. So, um, so we're just gonna kind of, you guys get to move kind of in your own little, you get to make up your own moves here and you're just gonna kind of move up and around and move those arms kind of in and out of the box that maybe you normally live in, kind of out to the side, maybe even kind of take the risk of losing your balance a tiny bit. Octopus, beautiful octopuses. Yes, I love it. You guys look great. Okay, we're gonna come, beautiful. Okay, and then we're gonna just bring the hands together Press your palms into one another. Good, you're gonna press shoulders back and down. So let's just slide the hands up, keep the hands connected and then slide down. Elbows can go wide as you slide the hands towards the hips. So we'll slide up and exhale, slide down. And one more slide up and slide down. And then let's try hands in the opposite, so the back of the hand and trying to keep the wrist, um, that joint touching. We're gonna slide up and then down. I can't go up very far. I don't have very good flexibility here. Slide up, good, and slide up. Nice, one more. And this is hard for a lot of us, I think, and sweet. Okay, y'all. So we're going to finish up right there. And um, any questions, comments tonight?